Welcome everyone, we're here in the heart of Ocho Rios and uh, as you can see we're in front of the famous clock and we're just trying to get a feeling of uh, what the election fever is here in Jamaica. We're going to be asking people walking by just what their take is on what the campaign is all about and uh, you know, stay tuned, we'll definitely have some good things for you. <laughs> It, when I check it out, most investment people, them they are foreign and through PMP government, them now come and invest nothing. So them say if Labour Party or win back, them come come invest the country. So that's all about them I deal with. Right. Okay, so how, how do you feel now in terms of the violence? Is it, has it escalated or...? Well, the violence at this election here, I feel so well before the date come. Before the date come still. No what about violence now going go on because right now between we are with PMP bridging them are bridging the same way. No hard feelings. We just run joke and on a certain place where violent like Sp France and Spanish town come together in our country. Everything done. So a peaceful election this. Okay. Well, on the two sides, we just love what I go on because I just, you know, I just this time, you know, most of the people them get them freedom, you know, see. But I and I free from the very first time I born. But it's this time most of the people them get them freedom. So them just enjoy themselves and just take, you know, advantage of it. Some of, you know, some of the people them take all this time very serious, kill all them one another way. You know, see, it's possible. I don't want to just eat and drink and remember, you know, see it and just know say somebody have to win and somebody have to lose. I just saw it thing go. When I, the people them not really want to change our government. They want the government to change itself. Because no matter which government they put in, I see them stupidness are going to go on. You understand? So we don't really want to change our government. What we want is a change of the heart of the government itself. I start thinking about the people them. Next thing, the garrison them what them put up for run each constituency. Them garrison have a breakdown. I think if you break it down, you get rid of poverty out of the place. Yeah? Because, watch this now. Behind each MP, you have a garrison. And that garrison keep the order for the community. Yeah? That garrison, the same garrison put out the gun them. Or the same garrison send the schoolers them with the gun them go to school. Get schoolers drugs to sell. And the same garrison turn on and shoot the same people them in our community because they now work with for them orders and all of them things. So I feel say, you no matter which party come in, if they can eliminate the garrison them out of the community of Jamaica, they can unite the people them. Everything is hundred percent. Do you think the country is in need for a change right now? Yeah, we do need a change. Alright, they've been PMP been running Jamaica for eighteen years, right? JLP was running it before, JLP robbed the country. Now PMP is putting the country in a hole. Give J JLP a chance again, because that's how I see it. Everyone's up for a grab. We understand that you are you consider yourself neutral. Yeah, neutral, very neutral. Okay, so what is your take on everything that's going on, the whole election, the environment? Well, right now, in this, in this atmosphere, me see, everybody in the political fever, but we don't really get involved. Because from a longer time and from a longer while, me see it, it don't really put me nowhere, none of my friends them. So I don't really get involved. You understand? Okay. Okay. So um you you would you would you say the either one of the campaigns have been effective enough to have you thinking maybe you wanna go with one of the parties? No, no, I no, no, set my mind against it. So so no no one no campaign or anything can change me. So they have been that effective to not on me not on maybe you. on some other person but not on me well there you have it we've came on a quest to find out what the mindset is of the people here in Ocho Rios and what they think of the upcoming election seems like a lot of people are calling for a change not necessarily a change of the person in office or the people in office but a change in the mindset of the individuals who are running the country this is Keisha Allen for New York Link